I'm Ryan from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Today, I'm going to continue with our SQL Accounting System GST tutorial video. Today, I'm going to talk about imports of goods. First thing, we open up SQL and you must make sure your current version is at least 708. Just go to help about SQL Accounting, then you can see what is your current version. Make sure you are at least 708. So, for imports of goods, there is GST. But, imports of goods meaning that you purchase something from overseas supplier. To you, is import. To them, is export. Export, there's no GST. But, the GST is charged by custom when you clear your goods in custom through K1 form. So, the first thing you must make sure is you have the foreign currency module. How to check? Just go to tools and make sure you do have the maintain currency. Go in where you can maintain the foreign currency over here. Let's say USD. So, after that, you are able to go to supplier, maintain supplier, and for your supplier, for example, this one Nokia, you are able to maintain them in foreign currency. Just make sure something. Under the tax, you must select the tax code called IM-0. So, this is the basic setting for your supplier. Then what you need to do as normal, just go to purchase, go to purchase invoice, go to new, you select the Nokia, then just select an item, maybe antenna. So the price is one thousand USD dollar. So we can see that the local net amount is three thousand eight hundred by using the exchange rate. You can change the exchange rate, whatever you want. So we set that for your supplier part. So now we need to handle the GST part. But to handle GST part, there's two scenarios. There's two possibilities. The first one is your forwarders to settle everything for you. For that scenario is, you need to maintain your supplier or your forwarders as a supplier. Let's say we have a forwarding company called ABC. It's your forwarders. So we just go to purchase, purchase invoice, key as normal. So ABC forwarding. Maybe they will charge you forwarding fees. One thousand ringgit. There will be GST charge TX. 60 ringgit, then maybe there will be insurance. Okay, for GST part, for GST part, this is something new. You go to this small button over here, is the field chooser, click, and you can see that there's three new things over here. Import currency code, import currency rate, and also import purchase amount. When you take these three items, there will be three new columns appear over here. What you need to do is create another row, go to the end. This is the purchase, import purchase amount. Click it and you will see a three dot button. Select the currency code, just now it's US dollar. 3.8 purchase amount is 1000 local custom amount is 3800 tax code is i am import of goods with gst incur tax amount is 228 permit number just key in your k1 form number save it okay and when you do that you can see that there's an auto description come up. Purchase value at 1000 ringgit um, at 3.8 exchange rate, then you get 3800, then the permit number. So save it. 
okay so when you preview the purchase invoice when you preview the purchase invoice you can clearly see that all the item is already inserted for you accordingly there's no unit price no quantity no subtotal no extra GST, only GST amount and total include GST for the third item. And let's see, let's see um, how the GST 03 will look like with this. Just go to GST, new GST return process. Okay, we know that. For import or input tax, we need to go to the input tax to check. Jumla Choka input at this amount, double click. You can see that this is the input tax, the importations for your importation of goods. So, this is the first scenario. How about the second scenario? The second scenario will be your forwarders only charge you forwarding fees and insurance. You need to go and clear the custom payment from yourself. So, what you need to do is just key your forwarding company as the previous one forwarding fees. Insurance two hundred, just exactly same as previous. Let's say I change the date. So you stop over here. For the GST part, you need to maintain Royal Custom Malaysia as a supplier. Maintain supplier. Okay, you can maintain. Royal Custom Malaysia as a supplier so that you are able to create a purchase invoice under Royal Custom Slimer Malaysia. Click the plus sign, do the exact things as previous. Go to import purchase amount, key in the currency code, key in the rate, key in the purchase amount the local amount that's what is I am okay done so this is how easy for SQL accounting system to handle imports of goods so that's all for today if you have time do drop by at my Facebook is facebook.com slash syntax technologies i'll share with you the latest information regarding sql accounting system and also gst so till then i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you